Welcome to my kitchen. My name is Ray Don Chong, and I am going to teach you how to make homemade pizza, which happens to be one of my favorite fast food dishes, and quite simple, actually. First, I want to show you, if you want to have a look at this, um, some of the preparations. We have fresh basil. I just baked this um, peppers mm, with a bit of garlic and salt. It is delicious. We have um, some chopped garlic some uncooked peppers, not hot of course, red and yellow. We have olives and we have some pre-made pizza sauce, which I will confess is not homemade, but I mean it's pizza sauce and it's Newman's own and it goes to a good cause, so I didn't mind cheating. And you can get any kind of sauce that you want. Then of course we have five different cheeses. We have feta, mozzarella, we have some picorini, excuse me, picorino romano, we have some goat cheese, we have some fat-free mozzarella, which I think for real pizza aficionados, that's a sin. <laughs> but because I try to balance the fattening with the not fattening, I'm going to include it. Now, mind you, you have to be careful with fat-free um, cheeses because if you cook them too long, they turn out like paper. But we're not going to do that today. In fact, we're going to probably ignore the mozzarella. We're just going to go straight with the fat cheese. Let me finish this, mm. and we'll continue. Now. The first thing you need, aside from courage, is flour. I use a whole wheat flour for fiber. A lot of people think that that's sinful as well, that you should use white flour, but I think it's okay to use a whole wheat flour, and I think it's really good for you. Also, they say that you should maybe add some cornmeal. I don't know about adding the cornmeal to my dough. I think it's just good for when you're preparing the pizza at the end, so I'm going to save it for the end.